Hello everyone, so now we've been looking at Crash Bandicoot for a bit and we will go back to it because trust me I love those games and I would like to go back to that again. But this for this one, so we're going to be looking at Spyro today. Um, so welcome to my top 5 playable Spyro characters. Here's the intro. Number five, Bentley. Benting. Well, that big wet guy with a nice thing. Alright, so you only really see this guy in uh, Spyro 3, you do. Now, if, just want to let you know, if he is in any other games, now I know his reference at the start, at the very start of Enter the Dragonfly, and you can't play it in then, but if he is playable in other games, then, well, this is the playable characters that I've played, me, anyway, that's the thing, um, Benty. So this big guy, um, you get to play as him in Spyro, uh, Spyro, in real Spyro 3. As a kid and as now, I really do enjoy this guy. Now, um, with this guy, he helps you out with one of the boss battles, which is one of the coolest boss battles. He also, you also have a boxing arena, which is kind of like your own box, which is kind of like your own box. And some, somehow I have some difficulty beating this guy now. Um, I might do a Spyro 3 gameplay video um, if I ever feel enthusiastic to do it. Um, we also find out that he's got a kid as well, and I think, I think that's pretty much it. But he's a, I, as a kid, I one of the things I liked was he was big, and big meant good, so that's why I very much enjoyed this guy. Number four, Agent Nine. Now, I got to play as this character in um, Spyro 3 and I think it was the season on ice on Game Boy. Now, I'm not really saying that season ice is good because every time I played it I really really tried my best to complete the levels but there was too much backtracking and every uh, just made me sick and disgusting like I had some I had more fun playing Crash Nitro Car or Crash XS. Now I don't actually have those games now because well I think we lost them or they were gone somehow. But I did enjoy playing as uh, Agent 9 in Spyro 3. Now Agent 9 is something that you would call it if it was like a some sort of a shoot 'em up game. I had a bit of I watched a review of Spyro 3 and they said it was kind of like a reference to something it was. I can't remember what it was. But the shooting was very nice, even for my age, and I just enjoyed it. There were some secret paths there were in the Agent 9 level. Now, he also helps you out with a boss battle, which is the final boss battle. Um, well, you know, with who. Um, and you, and you, I think you only get to play him as once. I'm not too sure if there's other levels that have him, and you get to play as him then. I'm not too sure, but yeah. Three, Cinder, um, from the Legend of Spyro Three, and also the Skyline series. Now, really, to be honest, her big, um, famous light that she got was really in Skylanders because in the Legend of Spyro series I wouldn't really recommend it to be as of two player because well, I don't like the storyline where Spyro and Cinder are basically trapped together because they've got this thing on their neck which is, doesn't make it very good but I do feel like maybe she got improved in the Skyland series. Now, if you don't know this, if you buy a character from Spyro, you can play as Spyro in the newest Skylanders game that came out in 2016. Um, why? Because I tried that out with Cinder and it works, it does. So, all good things. 
But seeing it was a very good one. We got to see her. Uh, it was we got to see her in the Legend of Spyro one, and somehow she was more with us in Spyro two, but not playable. Now, Cinder is a normal new character. Before, um, it's she's all new. Let's say um, she wasn't in the original Spyro timeline because well, they remade it up now. But um, yeah, some sort of way this is actually canon. Um, uh, at the end of this video. No, I'm just putting cards of, of the two Spyro timelines that I did on Addy's Games for Addy's Gaming Time. Now, I know people are going to get a bit mad at me, but I am not talking about Hunter from Spyro 3, because I know that you're able to play as him in Spyro 3. I'm talking about the Hunter from Spyro A Hero's Tale, where they actually improved on him a bit more. In this he has an arrow and you get to play him as multiple in multiple levels. Hey, you get to even say Spyro you do and even that level is longer than the other levels that the Hunter does, which is frankly quite a mild thing. But Hero's Tale will always have a special place in my heart. And yeah. <laughs> um and, and now at number one, we get Sergeant Bird. This is the only character that I actually know that has been in two favourite games of mine with the same controls. Spyro 3 and Spyro Hero's Tale. Ooh. Um, now, why is he in both of these and do I know these in others? Well, if I do, I don't care. But. In this, he has this. In the both games, he has the same. He has some sort of the same control. Um, the same controls from your um, thingy. Um, in Spyro 3, he has multiple levels, as of you can find them. But first, you must set a group of money bags. Same as, um, same as uh, Monty. Yeah. Um, and then you're able to play as him in multiple levels. And yeah, again, I know this guy also helps you out with the boss head, but not in Hero's Tale because that's free roaming and that's all by you, that is. And talking about Spider Man Hero's Tale, his levels were upgraded from being in a self place where it's kind of like just a level, this is something different. This is basically where you're able to go ahead and fly everywhere and they've made it so goddamn much more better. Now, this is basically a timing thing where you must get all of the, I can't believe I'm about to remember this. You must get all of the things before the time runs out. From destroying enemies, from destroying objects, from getting quick, from getting gems. So much more and well if you did not complete the level at first then you're able to complete it again so yeah hope you enjoyed this um this space video remember this is all of my favorite characters now every single day we're going to try and be releasing uh this base video and also a vlog for every other day now just want to clarify one thing once again. I am working on other stuff. In fact, I'm taking a break from website stuff today, and I'm actually going to start working on one of the short films that I have planned. Um, at the moment, I set a poll up on Twitter of if, if Disney was going to make one of these characters uh, a film from Star Wars accounts from Star Wars which one now please if you can go over to that and I should have a big announcement video coming up today on uh, this channel I was thinking I should have put it on those productions but you know I'll put something different that's different so when you search up huge announcement Star Wars I don't want two videos coming up in the same time because I'm trying to not mess with that. I'm trying not to make those mistakes again. Um, anyway, um, so hope you enjoyed this. Now there were some characters I did not include, like for instance that um, one that you know that um, 
the one in Spyro 3 where she hops. I hope you know what I'm talking about. Or the one it, or another character in Heroes Tale. Now the reason why I didn't mention those two ones is because well, they're good. One of them makes me um, scared. The other one, not the character, the levels. Uh, there's actually only one level I've actually played through and not had a heart attack. And the other one is just boring. <laughs> it is. And it made it worse in, of, in Season of Ice. So yeah. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Once again, um, I would like to clarify one more thing. I will also be having a trailer coming out uh, probably Wednesday um, of something. I'm not going to say yet, but it'll just basically be the announcement of what we're doing. So, yeah. This is going to take longer. This is really going to take longer. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Please go and check out this stuff. And let's hope we get, we hopefully, we get the same treatment that Crash Bandicoot did to Spyro. Please, hashtag Spyro to come back for PlayStation 4. Peace.